Hold on to your wallets. There's a new price tag out tonight for upgrading the Brent Spence Bridge corridor. Yeah, that's right. It will go up every day that there is no agreement on how to pay for construction costs. All new at 5, 9 on your sides. Tom McKee is live with these new figures. Tom? Well, we're talking about the Brent Spence Bridge corridor, as you said. That's the eight-mile stretch of road between the Western Hills Viaduct in Ohio through this congestion and on to Kyle's Lane in Kentucky. When I first started covering this story, it was $1.5 billion. In 2012, it was $2.4 billion. Now, $3.5 billion, and the cost climbs every single day. This is what a new Brent Spence Bridge could look like, arch like the Daniel Carter Beard Bridge, or this twin-towered span like the one built across the Ohio River near Maysville. That's one part of the cost, though. The other is widening the roads and modifying the ramps. So what's the estimate now? The current cost of the project is $3.5 billion. Charlie Rao is project manager with the Ohio Department of Transportation. It goes up about $70 million annually um, due to inflation alone. Rao was at Cincinnati City Hall Tuesday to give council members an update on the widening slated for Ohio. We want to make sure that the folks uh, in the community, particularly the West End, get an update and are able to weigh in on uh, the, the larger projects. $100 million is being spent on utility relocation and property acquisition. Duke Energy has moved electric lines where the new Brent Spence would go. Portions of Longworth Hall are being acquired and will have to go as well. Parks like Queensgate Recreation Area have been downsized, but improvements made to play areas. Where residents live near the interstate, like here on Liberty Street, noise walls will be built, soaring over 20 feet tall. When all is said and done, there will be more green space as well. We're going to go through and we're going to do whatever we can to save the trees that are possible, because um, there's no reason to cut them down if they're not impacting safety. The big question still is funding for construction. Ohio favors a public-private partnership. It essentially means tolling, um, but it's not like old tolling where you stop at a toll booth and you throw your money in the basket. Um, it'd be high-speed tolling. We have large gantries over um, whatever location that was selected, so they would uh, do video tolling of your license plate. Of course, Kentucky is still balking at tolls right now. No end in sight there. Improving congestion is vital to the economy of this region. Right now, about 1.6 million gallons of gasoline is wasted every single year in traffic like this. By 2030, it's estimated 5.7 million gallons will be wasted as well. So the clock's ticking. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in the West End. Certainly is. Thank you, Tom.